Motor Spirit is here at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Motor Spirit, the romance of motorsports and motoring. Personal excellence and international exclusivity. Michelin and Dunlap have been providing race tires since 1923. Dunlap has 34 wins, Michelin 24. Perhaps the most famous racing landmark is the Dunlap Bridge at Le Mans. It has been here in one form or another since 1932. Toyota has been coming to Le Mans since 1985. They won the World Endurance Championship in 2014, but never Le Mans. They have finished second at Le Mans four times. Many Americans have raced here at Le Mans. Three come to mind in particular. Briggs Cunningham in the 50s and 60s. Cunningham was from Cincinnati, and his father was a successful businessman who loaned money to two friends named Proctor and Gamble to help develop their soap business. Briggs Cunningham was a rugged looking, true American sportsman. In 1958, he skippered the Columbia to win the America's Cup. And in the 50s and 60s, he brought teams here to Le Mans. Many of the cars under his name and powered by American V8s. He also innovated the idea of racing stripes. At that time, cars competed in their country colors. Italy red, French blue. America was white bodies with blue frame rails, blue trim. Well, his cars were enclosed, so he translated the blue to the stripes. A color scheme later appropriated by Carroll Shelby for his initial group of GT350s. Shelby won here in 1959 with Roy Salvadori in an Aston Martin. That was a dream team. In other Astons were Sterling Moss and Jack Fairman, Maurice Trinignon and Paul Frere. And in team management, John Wire, who would later go on and manage some four GT40 programs. The third is not a driver, but the ultimate team owner. Henry Ford II. The Deuce wanted to win Le Mans, and he spent the money to do it. Creating the Ford GT40, an icon shape of a racing car 
that's still with us today in the Ford GT. This is Tête Rouge. It leads perhaps to the most famous road in racing, the Malzahn Strait. During race weekend, speeds are measured in hundreds of miles an hour. But during the week, it is the road to the bedroom community of Malzahn. The Malzahn Strait is just under four miles. And before the chicanes went in in 1990, it was almost half of a lap, flat out. Speeds could hit 250 miles an hour. And today you can no longer see the race from the restaurant in the hotel on the left. After the first chicane on the right, you can take a right and pick up something from McDonald's. Exiting the second chicane, leads to a slight kink and the little rises are meaningless at 40 miles an hour but can be dangerous when exaggerated at racing speeds. So the bucket list question is Monaco or Le Mans? Go to Monaco and if you can stay a few days afterwards it's less hectic, chaotic and you get the principality's atmosphere. But it's Le Mans first. It's an overdose of motorsport. It's Formula One flat out for 24 hours and a test for the spectator. You'll be able to recognize the cars by sight and sound. 